Tulsa. Uh, Tulsa plays hard, uh, aggressive uh, defensively. They look to try to create steals. Uh, they'll play, you know, probably 65% zone. Uh, usually start games off in some man and then go zone and, and uh, you know they're deep. They uh, they play a lot of different guys. They have a lot of contributors. Uh, tough, hard nosed team. They've already won at Vanderbilt. I know that Vanderbilt's not Kentucky, but the fact they've already won a road game against an SEC team, is that something you stress with your guys? Yeah, I mean, we showed them the, uh, the Vanderbilt game, and, and obviously, you know, coming in here eight and two, they're a team that's, uh, you know, a winning program. And, and uh, you know, again, I mean, we, we've got to come ready to play for sure. This is your first uh, time to play after a loss. Huh? How's practice been this week? How do you check your guys to bounce back? I hope we'll bounce back like we have in the past, which is with a lot of energy and a lot of determination, a lot of toughness. I, you know, I hope that's how we bounce back. I wish we would have played. You know, we lost on Saturday. I wish we would have played Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, but we had a week, you know, between games, and hopefully we still have that bad taste in our mouth, even though it's been, you know, a little bit of time separating, the, you know, between the Western game and uh, and this game. What are you healthy. 100% healthy. Mason, Mason's shoulder right. Mason's shoulder's all right. My brain's all right. Everybody's feeling good. What were your main takeaways from those, the final minutes of the game? Anything that you do differently? Not really. I mean, I think, I, yeah, we do a lot differently because we lost. Um, so to say, no, we do everything the same would, would not be truthful. Uh, but, you know, Isaiah had the ball in his hands. We, you know, we had a charge and, and uh, Mason had the ball in his hands, got fouled. Um, you know, we missed a couple free throws that were that were crucial. Uh, we've talked to Mason about, you know, 30-foot shot, um, you know, with the tie game and, and trying to use his creativity off the bounce to either create for others um, or to create for himself and maybe put a little bit more pressure on the defense. Uh, he understands that now. It's a good learning experience. Um, you know, he's now had the ball in his hands uh, twice, and, and um, you know, I think he's a guy that creates as well as anybody on our team. And Jimmy had an offensive rebound that, that he just couldn't get over the, the lip of the, of the rim. But, um, you know, we lost a game, and we feel like we should have won it, and we didn't. And, and now all we can do is try to improve and, and learn and grow from some of our mistakes. I guess I see some of the poster boards all around here with, I guess, profiling. Yeah, that's uh, something I got from uh, from Coach Gruden when I visited Tampa's practices and kind of saw how they did their red zone and last two minute drills and stole a bunch of ideas from from uh, from what Coach Gruden did. That you know when I wasn't working and had enough time to go fly around and watch NFL practices. You mean, you mean borrowed? Borrowed, yeah. Borrowed, stole, whatever. Stole's a bad. It's like is it almost kind of good to get a loss out of the way, like the pressure's off, no. there's no zero? <laughs> I mean, I wish that we were, you know, we're, you know, we're a basket or 40 seconds away from being one of seven undefeated teams. And, um, you know, I know people, and it's true, you know, you can, you, you can grab your team's attention after a loss, uh, you know, a little bit more. But um, certainly we as a group wish that, uh, that we would have closed that game out the other night, but we didn't. And so, yeah, we have to watch video. and. It's painful to, you know, to see some of the mistakes that we made. And, you know, everybody always points to, you know, last shot or this or that. And in reality, like, you know, we did some things that we haven't done all year. We, we Our baseline out of bounds defense was really bad. And it's been really, really great all year. But for whatever reason, that game, we were really poor defending on baseline out of bounds. So uh, we get grab our guys' attention and hope for we're a little bit better in those type instances than we were uh, last Saturday. If yeah, Jimmy Witt's played those guys several times, did he off on the inside at all? If you're worried. No, I, th I mean, Jimmy understands some of the personnel and strengths and weaknesses, and we played Tulsa last year at Nevada. Um, so, you know, we have our old scouting report, but everything's kind of different and changes, and how Jimmy played stuff at SMU's, you know, probably different than how we play it. So, But it's helpful for him to certainly feel like he knows 
some of the personnel on the opposition's team. They have some players now that are playing key roles for them that were key guys last year that you kind of have already had you know, experience against. Yeah, Horns, uh, you know, last year and this year we felt like he's a guy when they need a basket they'll get it to, number 41, who plays the three and the four for them. Um, you know, obviously the transfer from, from LSU, number zero, Rochelle, he did not play last year, but he's a really good player that's a, kind of a, a guy who creates offense and defense for him. But um, yeah, Joyner played against us at the point last year, so they have a, a lot of pieces back. And, and uh, you know, Jackson's a guy that can really dribble drive and find seams in the defense. And, um, you know, they're off guard, 22, can really shoot it. Can't, we can't give him any air space. And Carita off the bench has been out for three games, number five, and he can shoot the ball well. He's a good basket cutter, so certainly they, they have, and they're gonna, they're deep. They're gonna, they're gonna play a lot of guys. I saw you tweet out the uh, Yes Sir video. Have you had a chance to talk to Coach Pittman yet? And what are your overall thoughts on that? Yeah, no, it's, uh, I mean, I don't know anything about football, but I'm, you know, I think everybody in the department's really happy and excited. And, um, we've left him alone. He's out recruiting and trying to get a staff together, so he certainly doesn't need to talk to the, to the basketball coach right now, but I look forward to developing a relationship with him. And I've read and watched all the stuff you guys have done and really intrigued with some of the things that he does recruiting and, you know, to hear about the, the impact that he has with, with recruits, parents, and, and, uh, and those type of things are important. And, and you know, I've, every article and every media interview that comes out, I'm sending it to our staff about him talking about relentlessly recruit. And, um, certainly I've learned a lot from just from afar, watching some of the stuff that he does in a short amount of time. You said you wish you played Sunday morning, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You mean like one of those days? You no, I wish we played days. all those days. All those days? Yeah, I'm not okay. a good loser. Okay. My wife's got me sleeping in the pool house until we win again. Western Kentucky got a lot of points in the paint. What can you take away from that and how you guys don't let that happen again. Yeah, I, I mean, I think this kind of a little bit of who we are, because especially the way we defend the three-point line, I think it, even if we had, you know, six, seven-footers, if you're going to defend the three and take that away from people, it's going to be hard. You know, you look at NBA teams, it's, it's the same thing. Like, if you're a really good take away a three team, you're probably giving something up. And then, and then there's other teams that have the opposite philosophy where, they really, really protect the paint, and then those teams are susceptible to three-point shooting. Um, you know, having said that, you know, we also knew, Nikki, that like Western's a good points in the paint team against anybody they play just because of the size and and obviously when you got a 6'11 guy like they have that or had that, that can run and, and jump and, and rim runs like he does, he causes problems kind of for everybody. Yeah, I bet you have to hear the news about Bassey, I guess he's done for the year. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you never want to see another player get hurt. And, you know, he's got such a bright future and he's on, you know, NBA draft boards and you never want to see a guy get hurt. And, and um, you know, for us, you know, we need Western Kentucky to win now and, and certainly wish that he was healthy because he's, you know, he's, I mean, he's the MVP of that league. You mentioned Tulsa's depth. Does that change your rotation? Uh, we'll keep keep doing what we do and hope we can win. I saw Jamario come out there a couple shots just now. How's he been? Yeah, Jamario's been great. I mean, we need somebody in practice that's got enthusiasm and stuff like that, and he's, he's slowly picking up some of our offensive and defensive concepts. If you had an emergency situation and had to play him, how would you feel about that? I know he could do some, you know, he could go in there and bang and he, we could use his fouls for sure. Uh, he's not afraid to contact. He seeks contact even in, I'm like, Jamario, like we're not going live right now, man. But he seeks contact. He's had a great attitude for sure. And, and uh, I think he's made our practices a lot better. He can set a good pick. Huh? He sets a really good screen. What do you think of Desi's play last week? You know, the thing, I, and I've talked to Desi about it. I've just been so impressed with how, you know, when the shots weren't falling, he, he got to the basket. And, now teams are kind of playing for the dribble drive, and now that's opened up his three-point shooting where people aren't crowding him as much. And uh, we certainly, you know, I mean, he had a career night the other night, and hopefully that really, really helps his confidence. He does seem like he's knocking down some threes now. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, you look at the last two games, and he's shooting a good percentage, and, he, and even the ones he misses, you think they're going in. How, how do you feel like these practices have been this week? You know, yesterday and today. 
I mean, today we we were a little bit, you know, lighter than normal, but the first two days were pretty, pretty intense and pretty hard. Final question. Anything? You guys look Sunday. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Thanks.